Right, we're in the, the paddock still, and um, we've got a line of Alfa Romeo race cars here. And uh, we're going to talk to Dylan about this one in particular. Hi, Dylan. Hi, how are you? Hi there, not too bad, thank you. Um, we've got a bit of a row of Alfa Romeos here, is yes. there? Obviously, they're all racing type cars. They are. Um, anything else in common other than that? Um, are we a part of the same club? No, these are Bianco cars. This is a this is this is a private car. Um, okay. I've owned for nearly three years. Um, started life as a as a road car. Um, was then converted uh, into a pure race car uh, for a short stint in the Alpha Championship in 2002. Right. I think it was also a spare car uh, for Nick Kite and um, sorry for Nick Suter and Jeff Kite. Uh, and then uh, a guy called Dave, I think, raced in the Alpha Championship with it for a year in 2004. Um, it was then bought by a couple of private guys, one after the other, um, but ended up in storage in 2006 7 uh, for around 12 years. Really? Um, okay, so it's been hidden away for quite a while then. Yes. I bought it in 2019 with the uh, intention of converting it back into a sort of a road. It, to be road legal um, but keep the track obviously keep the track focus and I've been sort of working on it for the last two and a half years really to getting it right. up, up together um, and it's now it's now it's now driving extremely well um, we had a lot of work done to it gearbox rebuild all sorts of bits and pieces um, just put a new uh, LED dash in um, and yeah she's driving absolutely fantastic. it's really nice now isn't it yeah. Um, do you compete with this, or is it just for do you do shows? Or it's it was it, I, wrote, I bought it to do track days. To do track days. Um, yeah, yeah, it's been to Bedford a few times. Um, we haven't ha had it out this season because it's been in the workshop. Okay. This is its first actual outing this year, um, but next year the intention is to, to take yeah, it to get out some track, track days. days. Um, and, yeah, and sort of put it through its paces. But but it's um, yeah, we 2020 we. Did a number of number of track days, um, and yeah, she. It's a beautiful car to drive. It's 50/50 weight distribution. Okay. Um, and it's what um, I had a, a black three-liter road car as well, which was in pristine condition, which I actually sold in December last year um, to focus on this one. Right. So this is it's um, a 75 it's a two litre twin spark. Two litre twin spark. Just yeah. reading in the window there. Yes. Um, yeah, it's putting out about 160 brake. Uh, Engine's pretty standard. Uh, it's got a different set of cams in it, and um, uh, the uh, the ECU's got a certain map on it. Um, but it's uh, it's about 1,050 kilos, right. so it, it handles really well. And it's uh, yeah, it's a, it's a it's a great car. So it's quite light then. Yes. With that. Yeah. It's, um, but it is all road legal as well. Completely road so. legal. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we put it back on the road, uh, and yeah, passes the MOT. Uh, I don't. I haven't got a trailer and things, so I okay, drive. I so drive it to drive the track. Drive it wherever you're going to go. It's, yes. It's on the, on the yeah, it's, it's it's very usable <laughs> in that way. Um, yeah, does, does look nice. So we have a, just a yes, quick walk around the side. We can just have a look in your cockpit area there. Okay. Um, yeah, as I say, the dash. Is, the dash has just been this redone. Is all Carbon fibre. All right. Okay. Uh, all LED um, dials, uh, 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 switch gear. Um, a lot of work. To, convert it from 12 volt to uh to led but that's just been completed okay. it's made the car really usable uh certainly at you know at night and in the in the sort of the dark mornings you can now see exactly what's going on um and it looks absolutely fabulous compared to, to, to when we started but that, that's taken it's wayne Ellett from uh, emc racing it's taken him a long time to right. to get it to that get standard it yeah yeah it does look good does it yeah, it's really and nice. You've got your full roll cage in here, so yeah, full again, roll cage, very, very strong safe. cage, very mm. safe. Um, we've had a, a special fr uh, frame built at the back here to put the can get three three of the race wheels in there. Uh, yeah, okay. And then one that. in one in the boot. Mm. That's just been done. And I had to put new electric windows in the back, which is uh, pretty much a no-no for a, for a track car, but. Yeah. Um, but the 75s are well known for bringing in a bit of exhaust fumes, so um, it's made it. A bit of ventilation it's made it very comfortable it. on the uh, on the motorway now. Yeah, you you uh, you can just have these have these open and it ventilates the car. Right. Yes. Yeah. No, it certainly looks lovely now. We, we put the uh, we put the decals on. Uh, 2019, all the artwork was done by uh, Kevin Rasher, a friend of mine. 
in South Africa and the printing was done out there and then um, we he actually applied the decals for right. me okay. um, so based on the toe tip jolly club um, 80s works team yeah it, it does look the part doesn't it definitely yeah no, it's really nice lovely well thanks for showing us around Dylan thank, thank you brilliant thank, thank you thank you for your time